Um, hi, uh, I'm going to show you how to compress large files. Um, in this case, I'm going to compress uh, a large database file here. Um, the size is about 10, almost 11 gigabytes. So uh, <clears throat> if you look at this on my F drive, so uh, you can see the size is 10.3 gigabyte. Um, so the way a database stores information is actually in a text file. So um, uh, when you compress it, actually, it can be compressed by quite a big margin. So I'm just going to show you how to compress these files. Uh, so one way you can do is actually uh, send it to compressed zip folder. Now, the problem with this method is, is that it does not show you the progress bar. Um, and uh, you know you don't know uh, how long it's going to take. So um, uh, in this case, it's a huge file, and uh, you know it's probably going to take half an hour or, or maybe more. So um, I would not recommend this this way. Uh, instead, I'm going to use an application. So uh, I'm going to use uh, the zip uh, archive and uh, a two archive here. Uh, it's an RAR. Let's do this zip. So yeah, let's do the zip, and uh, let's do it. Okay. So it says the file size is too large for zip. Use RAR instead. Okay. So yeah, let's do. RAR. <clears throat> so in this case, uh, the nice thing is that you're actually seeing a progress bar um, and also the compression ratio as well. So 1% completed uh, and uh, Let's wait for it. Time left is 26 minutes, so um, that's nice to have. So it's um, 8.52 p.m. <coughs> it's 8.52 p.m. and let's see how long it's actually going to take. It says 29 minutes left, 30 minutes left. Uh, okay, so it's already done uh, and actually it's done within eight minutes uh, It was saying uh, it's about it was giving an estimate of 30 minutes, but it's done in eight minutes. So uh, what you can see is the RAR file is 192 megabytes uh, Which is a lot less than 10 gigabyte um, so um, although um, this is basically a compression video, but I think that you can use the same technique um, backing up a database, uh, basically compressing it and it will be become a small uh, file. So this way uh, you can copy the, this file to an, any uh, uh, FAT32 system, uh, but for this one uh, you have to have an NTFS at, uh, ex, uh, EX FAT32. Um, so I hope this video helps. Thank you.